Also on Friday, we told you that one Sherman City Council member is stepping down to run for mayor. Well, since then, three candidates have announced they're running for the open seat. News 12's Aaron Pillay introduces them. During a special September election, Sherman voters will decide who they want to fill the City Council District 1 seat. Sean Tiemann is stepping down, and three candidates have entered the race so far. Clay Barnett, Casey Rivas, and Sandra Melton. Barnett is an engineer and serves on the Grayson County Metropolitan Planning Organization. I bring that to bear for the council, a, um, a solid knowledge of infrastructure and its needs. His top priority, if he is elected, is to ensure the city infrastructure is ready for growth. Maintaining and enhancing our infrastructure is crucial to providing our quality of life and fostering economic development. Rivas is a local business attorney and mother of three. It's a lot of involvement in our local economy and what's making us run locally in those businesses and how can I support them. She says she would bring a unique perspective to the position. It's diversity and it's um, inclusion of people that might not feel like they have a voice. Melton worked for Sherman for 22 years and previously served in this city council seat for three years. I never wanted to give up my position. I always wanted to be out there for the citizens. Uh, so I hope that the citizens want me back out there. If elected, she wants to continue revamping the city's downtown and infrastructure. As we grow, we need to remember that we have people that have been here before. We have infrastructure that we need to take care of. The deadline for candidates to file is July 10th and election day is September 14th. The candidate with the most votes will start immediately and finish the remaining one year of Tiemann's term. In Sherman, Aaron Pillay, News 12.